Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. This is an honest review of the Thorfire PFO4 pen light. Now the reason why I emphasize honest is not because I lie to you or anything, but because I'm kind of honestly torn as to whether I want to recommend this flashlight or not. There's a lot of good things about this flashlight, but honestly there are a number of things uh, that are troubling about this flashlight. And so in this video, we're going to cover both, and uh, maybe by the end of the video, I'll figure out whether I recommend this or not. So here's some of the things I really like about this flashlight. Number one, it looks good. Uh, it's very sleek. It's perhaps maybe too sleek because it's a bit slippery at times. But still, it, it looks good, especially with this stainless steel pocket clip. And so if you're looking for a flashlight to go in your EDC kit that looks good, looks good in your kit, then this is a decent way to go. Also, most importantly, it's very bright. Even though it's only a two AAA battery flashlight, it produces 210 lumens on its high setting and 50 on its medium which means you're going to get a lot of light out of a very small package. Now, my favorite thing about this flashlight is that it has a long-term memory function, which means if you turn it off on high mode, it's going to turn back on on high mode. It doesn't switch after 10 seconds or 10 minutes. It's a permanent memory so long as it has batteries and battery life. What this means is it's a good EDC light, but it also complements your concealed carry weapon well. If you need to use your concealed carry weapon in a defensive situation, you can pull out your gun, you can pull out your flashlight, and this thing will start on the high mode. It's not going to start on the pitiful low mode that does nothing. It's going to send out those 210 lumens which will light up your world and also, uh, hopefully, stun your attacker. And so, even though this is an EDC flashlight, because it has that memory feature, it can be forced into the role of a tactical flashlight. Finally, it comes in at a good price and has a good warranty. You can pick these up for around $15 to $18 online, and it comes with an 18-month warranty. The problem is, is I'm afraid some of you might need to use that warranty, and this gets into the cons. I tested this flashlight by first taking it outside and putting it in a bucket of water for 30 minutes. Now, it has an IPX rating of 8, which means for this flashlight that it should be able to last uh, for 30 minutes in 2 meters of water. But when I went back out to the bucket and uh, pulled it out, it, the flashlight wasn't on, and I had some trouble getting it to turn on and off. So I took it inside, opened up the battery cavity, and sure enough, the battery cavity was filled with water. Even though it has proper O-rings, even though it was twisted tight, there was water in the battery cavity. And so that's not a good thing. That means this isn't really water resistant. But in some ways, I can get over that because this is an EDC light and not an outdoors light. You're, unless you drop it in a puddle, you're probably not going to get this wet enough to have water get into the battery compartment. So I can kind of wave that. The bigger problem was when I got to the impact test. I took this and dropped it on a hard surface five times from one and a half meters. And it should be rated for that, but the last time it hit, I had it where it would turn off, and number one, I had trouble turning it back on, but when it was on, when I jiggled it, it would turn off and turn on, turn off, turn on. And I got this flashlight to reproduce that a few times, but then it stopped doing it. Right now, when I turn it on and I shake it, it doesn't do that. No matter what I do, I can't get it to reproduce now. <laughs> so maybe the the problem was just temporary. I, I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that the batteries do shake. They do make a, a clanking noise. I don't know if you could hear that, but they do. 
And so that's annoying, but right now it's not really uh, affecting the functionality of the flashlight. So I, I'm kind of torn as to whether or not I recommend this flashlight. I don't really mind that it didn't pass the water resistance test because, again, this is an EDC flashlight and that, that test really isn't a big deal. But it does bother me that it didn't pass the impact resistance test. For a while when I shook it, it would turn on and off, and that's not a good thing. But in turn, now it doesn't seem to want to do it. In fact, I took it outside, I dropped it five more times on a hard surface, and it's just fine. I can't get it to reproduce the problem. So I guess I hesitantly recommend this flashlight for EDC use, not for outdoor use. It looks good, it has high lumens, it comes in at a good price, it has a nice warranty, hopefully you'll never have to use it, and best of all, for me, it has that memory function, which means it'll turn on on high if I left it on high. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Maybe some of you had, have used the Thorfire PF04 or some of the other Thorfire flashlights. Tell me what you think of these things. I, I'm just really torn as to whether or not I should recommend it to you. Also, if you have any just basic comments, questions, suggestions, gripes, complaints, please put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.